What you see here is Cambodia, but I'm standing in Thailand. The view is quite simply monumental. And right in front of me is a doorway and a lovely lady who's the guardian of this door. And there's a reason she's a guardian of it, because just through here is some very ancient sculptures. Now, what it is said these are, are is in fact warriors. As to their age, I cannot tell you because I cannot find any information from what's been supplied. But they have been carved into this wall an awful long time ago. And this place actually frightens me because although there is stairway with fence all the way to this central point, as soon as you get here, there is no barrier. And it is literally just one and a half meters from certain death. So it's time for me to move on and head off to see a fantastic ancient temple. So it is up the road, past the barbed wire and past the gun emplacements. Let's stop the tape right there, because what happened to me when I left this site was indeed deeply concerning. I was almost arrested. So it is up the road, past the barbed wire and past the gun emplacements that we <clears throat> I'm now back at home. This is the view from the rear of my house. It's quite nice, isn't it? I live as rural as I do travel. Now, allow me to explain what I've just said. What I've said is, it's past the barbed wire and the gun emplacements because that temple was on a military base that borders Cambodia. I shot the film you're about to see and then I drove off. Then all hell broke loose. And what I mean by that is I spent over two hours by the side of the road being interviewed by the military police, the local police, the national police, um, non-uniformed police, as well as military personnel. If that is not enough, with all these people around me and vehicles, then the phone started going. On one line, there was a lady from Customs and Excise, um, actually immigration she was from, and on another was a local police chief who um, was, well, he was rather frank with his words, shall we say. Now, the whole thing came about because for some reason they thought I'd crossed illegally or something. I can't see how that came about. And the other thing that complicated matters is I didn't carry my passport. I don't because it's still kind of rainy season. And if you lose your passport or it gets wet, you're in real trouble. So I carry, fo I carry photos of my passport. Well... It went on and on and on. And the reason was, another reason was, they were convinced that I had taken images of the military base, um, which I accidentally, I've got to admit, um, took some, some shots of a tent and a bit of barbed wire, um, which I was more than happy to delete because nobody told me um, what I was supposed to do. They said, you're not allowed to go over there because that's the military base. And I said, fine, I'll point my camera this way. Um, but um, through some misguided information or something, all hell literally broke loose. I've never seen so many military and police personnel from different departments, all for little old me. Well, it did take a long time to sort out, but it was sorted out. And fortunately, they let me keep the film you're about to see, which I'm kind of proud of because it's such a unique sight. So, just so you know, not every journey as a simple as it sometimes looks. That we discover these fantastic stupas. There is two of them, and I have never seen anything like this ever, and in such a glorious setting, and they have quite the tale to tell. The form, the shape of them, 
actually has an awful lot of relevance because what we're looking at here is the base is to represent a vagina and as we go upwards we see this bulbous form that represents the gentleman's penis together man and woman. But there has, is a tale to tell here. There has been an epic case of looting. And that is what I'm going to show you next. Do you know who Howard Carter is? Howard Carter is potentially the most famous archaeologist in the world. And his fame came because he discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun in Egypt, down in the Valley of the Kings. He rocketed to fame. And what was amazing about that find was it created this Egyptian fever that went right round the world. And what I mean by that was all of a sudden there was nightclubs named the Egyptian nightclub. There was drinks with an Egyptian theme. People had brooches in the shapes of scarabs and so on. It, it was absolutely went off like a wildfire. Anything to do with Egypt, even breakfast cereals, started to have an Egyptian theme. But why am I telling you this? Well, it all started when Howard Carter broke through a wall, very similar to this. And when he broke through, he shone a light and he was asked, what do you see? And his answer has gone down in history. And his exact words were, I see wonderful things. And so it began, the Egyptian fever. On this case, we have a rather similar hole. And we can see the chisel marks here of people that have broken into these stupas. But why did they break in? I mean, these stones are particularly Deep. It's an awful lot of work. What was it that was so valuable? Well, in here were statues, statues of the Lord Sheba, and they went to all this work just to loot those gods. So there it is, up on this hillside where the sky blazes a beautiful blue, lays these two representations of man and woman conjoined. But unfortunately, the looters have done their dastardly work. This is the other of the two, the hole here slightly larger. Maybe the statue was bigger and hence they had to make the hole larger because if you're a thief that's into looting, believe me, you don't do any extra work than you need to. So there are these tragic scars on these absolute beauties. I've never seen any temples in this form. They're stupas, I do realise that, but the, the, the shape of them is just stunning. They are things of absolute beauty and could easily sit in a modern art museum today and take pride of place. Well, the military are beckoning me. They seem saying, we've got to go, we've got to go. So I have to go. But before I do, I'm going to ask you if you would help support me on this channel to locate these ancient sites, some and often neglected and forgotten, then I would be truly grateful. Now, how you do that is go to www.patreon.com forward slash temples. It's as simple as that. You can probably see the wind is blowing the camera around a bit because we're that high up in the air. So there you go, another episode. And as always, I sign off by saying I wish you absolutely nothing but the very best. You be sure to take good care now.